graph the function and state its domain and range. We have an absolute value function and f of x is equal absolute value of x minus 3. So let's see, we can plot points if we want for x and figure out what f of x is equal to. x can be any value. So the domain is a set of all real numbers. Uh, let's see, we can start with 0. When x is 0, the absolute value of 0 is 0. 0 minus 3 is just negative 3. When x is 1, the absolute value of 1 is 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Now when x is 2, absolute value of 2 is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Okay, I can go on. Let's select values that are negative. So if we select negative 1, absolute value of negative 1 is 1. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And let's select uh, negative 2. When x is negative 2, absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. You can select other values of x as well, but I think we have more than enough here. When x is 0, f of x is negative 3. Here's x, and here f of x. So x is 0, f of x is negative 3. So there you have it, 1, 2, 3 right here on the y-axis. When x is 1, f of x is negative 2. So x is 1 right here, f of x is negative 2, so 1, 2 down here. And uh, x is 2, f of x negative 1. Here's another point right here. You know, you realize that if you selected 3, Absolute value of 3 is 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. So you know there's a point right here. All right. Now going to the negative values, negative 1. When x is negative 1, f of x is negative 2. Negative 1 right here, f of x is negative 2. And when x is negative 2, f of x is negative 1. And you know, if you had selected negative 3, absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0, so you would have gotten that point right here. So this is the graph of the absolute value. These are the points on the graph. Connecting the dots together, you're going to have, you could have selected any value of x, so you can extend that all the way up here. And then the same thing on this end. This is a graph of the absolute value function. As you can see, as we learned it in class, it has the V-shaped. And that says f of x is equal to absolute value of x minus 3.